Lisa, what you doing? See if this looks any better. Um, I got an email today from the lady that I um, adopted this cat from about a week ago. This is Trixa. Her, her real name is Trixafina, but I don't really like that name. So I'm going with just Trixa or Trixie. And, yep, not something I was really planning to do. I think I had enough cats. More than enough cats. <laughs> but here we are. Uh, I was going to PetSmart for my usual my usual trip to the, the vet, or the pet store. Because <laughs> I always have to get lots of stuff because I have a lot of animals. And this one, who I am 90% sure is a Maine Coon, which is a cat I've wanted to have, a breed of cat I've wanted to have my whole life. She's not a Maine Coon. She certainly has Maine Coon in her, a lot of it. But anyway, I saw her there. She's ten and a half years old and just a big, big, squishy, lovable cat. She's not fat. She's just really big and uh, just really sweet. She's got a very loud purr. She sounds a lot like my little gray cat, Shadow, who was once very big too, but now he's... Uh, Shadow's about 16 years old now so he's really getting up there and he's really skinny but in the dark when she comes up to me you know while I'm in bed I cannot tell until I reach out and touch her if she's Shadow or Trixa because they sound so much the same when they purr so anyway we got an email today from Susan who is I can't remember what the name of the organization is that I adopted her from but Susan sat with me for about a half hour and helped me fill the paperwork and she wanted to know how Trixa was doing and asked me if I would send her some pictures of Trixa and I just thought this would be a little bit of a better thing to do because then she could actually see her and um, I know she's doing okay I brought her home and you know the usual the usual thing is to leave a cat in a room you know and I gradually let them out into the house well the last three cats I've had I have not done that I just you know I leave the door open the cat stays in the room and the other cats stay away from the cat this is what I found out with Savannah and with Mischief you know leave the door open the cats stay away from the new cat. The new cat stays away from the resident cats and they come together when they're ready. And in a week, in a week Trixa has gone from being under the dresser in my bird room to now she hangs around in the um, in my bedroom. She goes down the hall, she goes down the stairs sometimes. She's been downstairs a couple times, but she's very timid about going downstairs. Still, there's a deck off my bedroom that um, she goes out with the other cats when I when I have the door open, which isn't very much right now because it's really cold. She goes out there so she gets a little bit of fresh air. I have um, the 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 railing is wired off so the cats can't possibly jump through the the railing. And I also have wire along the top so there's nobody that can jump up there and, you know, escape my deck that way. Although Mischief is amazing. She she comes and goes as she pleases. She she comes up onto the roof and accesses the deck and goes down from my deck and nothing stops her. But she's a half kitten, you know. Oh, there goes Haley downstairs. You heard her growl right there. Um... Trick, Trixa is not so fond of the dog, but you know, that's really not unusual. None of my cats are very fond of the dog, except for Mischief, the littlest one, the one that I was just talking about. Look at that alert, that alert expression. Yeah, Mischief loves to play with Haley. That, that cat loves the dog, but none of the others do. <laughs> 
So Trixa will fit in just fine. And she's a very pretty girl, and I don't know why. I don't know what possessed me. I did not need another cat, but, you know, it's like you get to a point where you just feel like, you know, I'm living, I'm not living to get a man. I'm not living to please anybody else. I'm by myself. I can do what I want. I can do what makes me happy. It's the first time in my life that I have actually been living to do what makes me happy. And, you know, I kind of like it. I do. I kind of like it. And I like I like the role of being somebody who gives a cat that needs a home a home. You know, there's a lot of them out there. You know, granted, I can't adopt them all, but I think I've done my due. I've, I've done my part to help cats, to help homeless cats. All my cats have been adopted from one place or the other. <laughs> Shadow, my oldest, came from um, the Pound in Bellevue. Toby, my next oldest cat, which is a little orange, well he's not little, he's a creamy orange tabby. I got him uh, in a box on the side of the road that somebody I think threw, threw out of their car. Sierra came from uh, it was called Forgotten Felines um, in Motley Terrace and then uh, Savannah was a stray that a lady named Jewel in Edmonds told me about at a pet store that needed a home I ended up taking Savannah not a week later I had a freshly shaved mischief little tuxedo cat who were pretty sure was a recent resident of a, of a shelter that maybe somebody let out too soon and got lost. So then, you know, so then there was mischief without a home. <laughs> so, and now Savannah. So yeah, it's kind of crazy around here, but it's my world, it's my life. I, I have more friends that are animals than people, and that's just fine with me. You know, I'll tell you one thing the animals have ahead of humans. They don't judge you based on what you, uh, what you believe in, <laughs> whether or not you believe in something, you know, they don't care. They accept you no matter what you are, who you are, as long as you love them. So anyway, that's all. I just wanted to do a little, little introduction to Savannah here and show her off. And I'm Savannah. I'm sorry, Trixa, Trixa Phoenix. If we call her Trixa or Trixie, wanted to show her off so I can send Susan the link. And she can see for herself what a happy, adjusted cat Trixa is in her new home. So, if you've been watching, Susan, thank you. Bye. I just think this is a really pretty pose, so I thought I'd come back and film this as an as a ending to my video about Trixa. Here she is on the bed. Feeling pretty much at home. So, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing for her. It's a good thing for me. <laughs> so, there she is. Bye!